Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. Listen to this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hey guys, welcome back. Let me move this a little bit to the to the side here. I am working on a very brand new project. Hold on just for a brief. There we go. I'm working on a very brand new project here with TGIF. I am now a professional sounding podcast. Don't get me wrong, I sounded good before, but now I sound superb. I'll tell you why in three, two, one, now. I just purchased a Personas Audio Box USB 96 brand new microphone and as I call it, a mixer. Well, not a mixer, but a interface mixer. And it connects through the interface mixer through USB, and then my XLR from my microphone here goes into my XLR ports onto my new interface mixer, which makes me sound good. So if you're hearing a different sound this week and you're wondering why I sound even better today, it's not my usual headphone microphone set. Don't get me wrong, that sounds good. But the problem was my other mixer, the Harbinger L802 8-channel mixer with two XLR preamps. That mixer was bad. I got to call the company to fix that problem, but that problem was a messy situation. I mean, I could have used a newer mixer like that, used the adapter that drops down from 45 volts, no, 49 volts to about 3 to 5 volts, and sounded good. But with this new microphone and interface mixer I got, it's going to be, it's a new digital signal instead of an analog, which means that this one now is now being broadcasted live here on TGIF on Spreaker in digital audio instead of analog, which is better because as you can tell, when I move around and tap on stuff, you can, you can hear it. That's how clear the signal is going to be, so you can hear a lot of stuff in here. With analog, it's hard to hear the background noise, even though technically I don't want background noise, but it's hard It's hard to hear the analog stuff is because analog is more of an old-fashioned technology that picks up right around in your area. For digital, as such in this microphone here, is digital, it'll pick up more of a, a surrounding area, and plus the microphone is condenser. Condenser and dynamic are two different microphones. Condenser means it picks up a lot of everything, and dynamic only picks up something in one direction. So here's an example. When you go to church and you have your church microphone, that has got the little round metal ball on the top. That is a unidirectional because you have to hold it up at an angle to actually use the microphone. If you hold it straight up and down or straight, down and up, you know, upside down or right side up, and hold it next to your face, you can still hear yourself, but you're hearing because it's going over the top of the microphone instead of at the actual diaphragm in the microphone, which this one, no matter where I talk at, I can always be heard real nice and clear no matter what. So that's just the way this works because it's, it's not unidirectional. It's more of a condenser which picks up a lot of everything around the background, which could be a very useful thing in the in the future with this podcast and stuff with TGIF. Like when my wife comes around and she wants to say hello, that you can hear her more of a clear than you can when I was using my headphone microphone set, which my A10s are fabulous. I will let you know that if you want a pair of good uh, headphone microphone set, A10 gaming headphones are phenomenal, very phenomenal. But this one will sound a whole lot better using it for my podcast. And with my new pop filter, as you can tell, as in the t or the p, it takes most of those sounds away when I'm talking, so you don't have all that popping sound while I'm talking. Almost like popping popcorn in the microwave or on a stove. <laughs> and as you can tell... Even the sound is better now because it's not so loud anymore like it used to be. Like right now, my headphones, I can I can play my sound effects right now. My headphones are sounding phenomenal. 
It comes with the the Personas Audio Box USB 96 Studio. Comes with your microphone, your interface mixer, and your headphones, which is phenomenal. One of my best purchases I purchased in a long time from my uh, my podcast. So. With that being said, let's get into a few brief announcements. Number one, and sorry to when I scratch or mess around with something on my shirt, it's going to sound in here, but we're going to work on the audio signal and work on some stuff and make me sound even better. I might be able to still use the other mixer and be able to do something with that as well, hooking that into my interface and, you know, something with that effect. But for right now, this is sounding good. So let's get into a few brief announcements. Number one, and I don't want to keep iterating this, but it's okay. If you so choose to, though, you can go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at gmail.com. And what can you do there? Well, you can send me all of your prayer requests. Even if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. Also, guys, you can call me at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come come first again guys that is something i like to iterate is here on the show i don't always do it while we're doing the message or doing an actual song i don't have you call in right during the show but i encourage you to at least you know sometime give me a call let me know how everyone's doing out there let me know what you're feeling what you're vibing here on the show and if you got some suggestions or comments for the app as well as for the show Please call me let me know. And if you got a word you think that everyone here needs to hear, then let me know and I'll and I'll pencil you in and I'll put you on the show. All you gotta do is call my call my podcast number. Or you can call me via Skype and then we can do a, a work through with that. I can add you into my interface and we can have you on TGIF where Jesus does most definitely come first. If you got something you think my listeners need to hear. Sorry about that. I had to take a drink. <coughs> this is a time of year where it gets hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and then you get phlegm coming up and all that stuff. It's very terrible, but it is what it is. Now, I want you to keep in your prayers and in your mind. Let me put this microphone down a tad bit. In your prayers and in your mind for, and yes, we'll be doing it on tomorrow, Worship Tuesdays. It's not just a podcast. It's not just another Tuesday episode. Worship Tuesdays is going to be and is right now a phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. <laughs> but Worship Tuesdays is and will always be known as a phenomenon. Why? Because it's just, and I was talking to one of my workers today, and it's just like I told her. Because <clears throat> she wants to know what, what I do, you know, because I tell her I podcast every Monday and Tuesday. I tell it to everyone so they can kind of tune in if they want to and get uh, get a feel of what's going on here with the show. And, uh, excuse me, I didn't want to uh, have my mouth flagellants go into the microphone and then you hear it. <laughs> like my buddy Dr. Scott once says, it's healthy to burp. i rather, no, he didn't say it's healthy to burp, but he says it's healthy to fart. I'd rather fart and waste it than burp it and taste it. <laughs> Enough with the jokes. So anyways, I talked to some people at work about my show. Let them know. A couple people subscribed to me. Thank you again for the new subscribers here. Guys in Streetsboro, Ohio at the new Slim Chickens. 
I want to give you all a shout out into a beautiful Streetsboro, Ohio at Slim Chickens, where it's not fast food. It's fresh food done right. So come on in and our my favorite is our macaroni and cheese. Also, I like our coleslaw now because I make it proper again. Uh, first time I made coleslaw, two tablespoons of black pepper. It's supposed to be two teaspoons of black pepper, not tablespoons. Everyone must have been sneezing after eating my coleslaw. <laughs> but it's okay. Now that I know how to make it right, which I'm not going to give you the full recipe, but once I, now I know how to make it right, everyone loves it. So I make the best coleslaw in town. I make it fresh every morning except for Sundays and Monday and Tuesday because I come in at 10 o'clock and Whoever comes in at 8 o'clock makes it then. But usually every day of the week I make coleslaw fresh. I scoop out the potato salad fresh. And, you know, I do all my sauces fresh. I make fresh ranch every morning, fresh cayenne ranch. But that's some of our favorite sauces are ranch and cayenne because they're made fresh in-house. And then we got our sauces like honey mustard and honey barbecue. But they're all, they're all good. We got 17 house sauces. But this is my shout out to all my little... Uh, workers there at the Slim Chickens. And I want to do one more shout out. I want to do one extra shout out to one of my, one of my, one of the good guys over there at Slim Chickens. There's a lot of good guys, but Carmen. Hello, Carmen. This is TGIF giving you a personal shout out. Carmen from Slim Chickens in Streetsboro, Ohio. Check him out, guys. Check him out. He's going to be starting his online store with merch t-shirts mugs and all that great little stuff so javeli check out javeli's javeli's new store here on teesprings.com and the the link will be posted when he gets his items into the store so look up javeli on teesprings and then we'll we'll put a link into the to the uh, show because i just found out that you can actually have links in your show like if i if i like when I said, uh, go check out Javeli's new store, because that's his store name. When I said, go check out Javeli, Javeli's store, as I say Javeli's store, popping up on your screen while you're listening to me, will be the link to Javeli. And you just click that link, and it'll take you right straight to his store while you're listening to me. So you can buy merch from somebody, like him or me, and still listen to the show all in one. So this show is very, very versatile so with that being said <clears throat> that is my personal shout out to you Carmen at Slim Chickens and Streets Burrow, Ohio and remember it's not fast food it's fresh food done right Slim Chickens not fast food fresh food done right so Keep an eye on Worship Tuesdays because, and I, like I was trying to say earlier, when I talked to the worker at work, she wanted to know what I do because I tell people what I do. And I told her, I said, well, I do a, a, a podcast Monday and Tuesday. She said, what are you talking about? I said, well, Monday I, I do a full-blown message where I can, where I encourage people. You know, I give them word like a couple weeks ago, not last week because I was going through some stuff with my uncle passing away and uh, took a break from the show for a minute, but. It was worth it because I needed to, to mourn. I didn't mourn properly still yet, but it's okay. It, it takes time to mourn properly for somebody, but it is what it is. So with that being said, I was talking to her for a minute and I said to her, she goes, well, what do you do on your show? And uh, I told her, I said, well, on Mondays they have a full-blown message. And I said, I encourage people. She says, like, well, what do we would talk about? I said, like depression and suicide and things and other different things that are needful that people go through on a regular basis out there and i give her an example like you know a couple of weeks ago i spoke on doing what you want done to you to others for an example if i want you to show me respect okay you if i gotta show you respect if i want you to show me respect if i expect you to do something like that to me i you expect me to do back to you so what you do to others is what you get done unto you. If you want others to show you respect, you show it first. Here's a here's a brief example. I told her I'm not going I'm not gonna use the words that I use, but she is part of the world, so I use the world. 